Hey everybody, welcome to the Crucified Serpent. I'm your host, Pastor Matthew Blair. This is a brief video. I just want to let you guys know that God loves you, that He truly does love you, and He wants you to know right now. He wants you to know right this minute. You, you've been thinking, you've been saying to yourself, when's my blessing going to come? You've been, you've been praying and begging God and asking God, when's my blessing going to come? And you've been patiently waiting. Have you been patiently waiting? I hope that you've been patiently waiting. Because the problem with what the children of Israel did when they were coming out of Egypt into the desert is they didn't patiently wait. They had a two-week journey, and it turned into 40 years. Are you patiently waiting? Or are you doing what the children of Israel did? And you're complaining, and you're accusing, Let's not complain. Let's not accuse. Instead, let's reach our hands toward heaven. Let's thank God for the blessing that's coming, even though you may not see it, even though you may not feel that it's coming. It's coming for you. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe that, that God the Father sent his beloved Son to die for us and to rise again, and he is now seated at the right hand of the Father, and he said, it's better for me to go, and I send my spirit, I send that helper to you. So we have that confidence, that absolute confidence, knowing that God is with us. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you've got to remember also the treasures of the wicked are laid up for the righteous. That's biblical, that's the word. You've got to remember your blessing is coming. It's coming. God's time is God's time, and we have to be patient. As hard as that may be, we have to be patient. So God's telling you right now, your blessing is coming. It's going to arrive. Just trust him. Open up your hands. Open up your hearts. Raise your hands. Lift your hands and praise God, because that's how things get done. Praising God and lifting Jesus high, that's how it gets done. For the Bible says, if I am lifted up, and of course it's talking about Jesus, I will draw all men unto me. All men. Now he's not necessarily talking about the ministry field. He's talking about you and me. If he's lifted up, he will draw all of us unto him. Amen? And we have to draw near to him. For him to draw near to us, we have to draw near to him. Amen? So let us draw near to the Creator. Let us draw near to the Holy Ghost. Let us draw near to the Son of Life. For he gives us life and he gives us blessing. Let's not go away from him, <clears throat> but let's draw closer to him so that we can receive that blessing that he has in store for us. Because he does. God wants me to let you know he does have a blessing in store for you. He does have, you may be going through some hard times. You may be going through a rough patch. You may be going through some serious stuff. Uh, whether it be illness, whether it be financial trouble, whether it be problems in your marriage, whatever it is. God has got you. He's got you. Whatever it is, he's got you, and that blessing is coming. Amen? That blessing is coming. I'm speaking it into your life. I'm speaking to my life because I know that God has got us. He's got us in the palm of his hand. He wrote us in the palm of his hand. That's in the Bible. I've written you upon the palms of my hands. So God ain't going to never leave us. And it says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. So you have, to, you have to apply the Word of God. You have to read the Word of God. You have to believe the Word of God. You have to make it to where it's a part of you, and you're breathing it, and you're living it. Every facet of your life is the Word. So let us do that. Let us believe with all our hearts that the Word of God is going to manifest in us in such in a way that that power is going to penetrate our hearts and it's going to come out and live through our lives. Amen? Because God's Word is a living Word. God's Word is Him. He is the Word. And He lives through that Word. And so apply that Word to your life and let that Word just sink into you and, and live that Word. Let that Word live in you. And then use it. Use that Word. Use God's power that he gave to us and allow it to penetrate the darkness and receive your blessing from on high, knowing that God is faithful, that God is true, and that he has called you and you will overcome. Amen? Say it with me. I will overcome. In Jesus' name, 
that blessing is mine. Say that with me. In Jesus' name, the blessing is mine. Say it again. In Jesus' name, the blessing is mine. It's my turn. It's my time. I've watched other people get their blessings. I've watched other people get their healings. I've watched other people's marriages be restored. I've watched all this. Now it's my turn. It's my turn. I'm happy for them and I'm overjoyous for them that they've received it because it's important for us to be overjoyous for those people who have received those blessings. It's important for us to let them know that, yes, we're happy for them. Yes, we're glad that God has his favor for them. But it's our turn now. It's our turn now to receive those blessings. And it's their turn to be happy for us. Amen. So let's just reach out and take that blessing that God has in store for us. And I want you to repeat after me. In Jesus' name, in my life, there is no more defeat. In Jesus' name, in my life, there is no more defeat. In Jesus' name, in my life, there is only blessing. Amen. You guys have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful weekend. I love you all. Until next time, God bless you.